the Lord God for what he has done uh, this week uh, from Tuesday 22nd has been a turning point to the lives of men and women here uh, I feel so encouraged myself to host a pastor Paul uh, in this country uh, it has been my desire to have a gospel preacher come here and speak to, to people here. 
I'm very much excited about the testimony of a woman who came to the meeting on Tuesday 22nd in the night. According to what she told me on phone, she came with a tumor in the stomach. She had visited a medical doctor in Palisa Town Hospital, main hospital, and the doctor's advice was to carry out an operation. But what she told me, when she came to the meeting, after prayers, probably around 3 o'clock in the night, and Pastor Paul ministered to her, she said she went and slept because she had a lot of sleep on Wednesday night. And uh, in the morning when she woke up, the, the tumor was gone. She was very, very excited. She, when she was speaking to me on phone, she was even crying, shedding tears. I said, no, I don't know what I can say. I'm excited. It is gone. It is finished. I didn't have the money to go for have an operation, but the Lord has delivered me instantly. How I pray that the Lord will bless you, Pastor um, Paul, and your ministry, and we have been excited. The local church here in Kampala has also been lifted up. People are encouraged. People have uh, loved to be ministered to. The word had power, and it was so much interesting. <laughs>
this morning. In the house of the Lord and His glory. Let Him touch you right now. In fact, there's people that need a healing right now. You have sickness, disease in your body. Poor eyesight, poor hearing. So, sickness in your stomach. You lay in, in your feet, in your legs. Glory, glory. 
glory of His presence fills my heart. He is high and lifted up, and His praise, His praise fills this temple, and the glory, glory of His presence fills my heart. Though my eyes are dry and my heart is cold. I will praise him. He is high and lifted up, and his praise, his praise fills this temple, and the glory, glory of his presence fills my heart. He is high and lifted up, and his praise, his praise fills this temple. And the glory, glory of His presence fills my heart. Though my eyes are dry and my heart is cold, though my strength is gone under a heavy load, oh, I will pray. Jesus said, I am the way. Yes, I am the truth. I am the life. And no man comes to my Father unless he comes through me. You see, this Jesus is the gate that we must enter through. This Jesus, the Son of the Living God. He is the gate that leads to heaven. Will you choose to follow him? In the cool of the evening, I get to go. And share my love and my presence and my fellowship with Adam and Eve. And he calls the angels over and says, hey, come look at this. See those guys down there? I, they're my, my made them. They're precious. They're special. How much I love them. And you know what? Even the angels in heaven don't experience this touch and this special love of God. This is something that only mankind can share with God. This is something special. This is something precious. This 
is something not to be taken lightly or for granted. I just feel his presence right now. Just feel it right now. I just sense it's just beginning to fill this place. Because this is something that is so close to his heart. He longs to share intimate fellowship. so much for accepting our invitation. We invited Pastor Paul in because some are sent and they deny to go. But Paul accepted to go because God had called him and he accepted and he, and he realized the call that it is really God who had called him and he accepted to God. So we glorify God for that. Um, Pastor Susan, uh, we are the ones who invited Pastor Paul in Uganda. Uh, my husband, Richard Muang, Pastor Paul, and we pray that those who are willing to stand with him should stand with him because of the mighty work that he is doing. He's doing a great work of drawing many people to Christ, and we have seen the mighty work of God, the mighty work of God through Pastor Paul. this morning just to uh, soak in the presence of God. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus.
ufite inzara n'inyota zo gukiranuka niwe uzaha haleluya as the rains come down from heaven and waters the earth ikatosha ubutaka and makes it bring forth fruit so is my word shall go forth out of my mouth where God speaks to us our lives are never again the same There's so much uh, false gospel being preached that does not speak of repentance and brokenness and humility before God. But it preaches just come to God and enjoy all his blessings. There was always a condition to the blessing of God. The people of Israel, God said, I'll take you into the promised land. And I will bless you and prosper you. If you continue to obey my commandments. If you forsake the ways of the world and do not let the gods of the people gone before you do not worship these gods. Do not follow their ways. But you must Stay true to me. This has not changed. <laughs> God has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> Seems like 
like a game of the survival of the strongest and the fittest. Come walk with me and let us see.
in his sight when we all get to heaven we will pray by the greatness of your name you have conquered satan's reign and now I walk from darkness into light By the blood of Jesus Christ Through His perfect sacrifice I'm forgiven, I'm set free And I am saved Out of bondage into light By God's redeeming sacrifice It's His love that draws me closer and His grace His grace that brings me home By the greatness of Your name Satan's reign And now I walk from darkness into light By the blood of Jesus Christ Through His perfect sacrifice I'm forgiven, I'm set free And I am saved Out of bondage into light By God's redeeming Sacrifice, it's His love His love that draws me closer His grace, His grace that brings me home Out of bondage and to light by God's redeeming sacrifice, it's His love that draws me closer And His grace, His grace that brings me home It's His love that draws me closer And His grace, His grace that brings me home So good, so good to me. God is so good, so good to me. It lifts me up. 